Hi, I'm sommelier Leslie Miller coming back to you from the Sip Better Wine Club and today we're going to talk about local wine. Now local wine in Minnesota is a pretty big industry. We actually have over 77 wineries here in the state of Minnesota and they're not grapes that you're going to recognize when you head to the retail shelf. What I love about Minnesota is that almost everything is family owned and it's really hardy, true farmers that are out there making the best of their agriculture and bringing it to you. Let's start with one of Minnesota's most famous grapes. This is Marquette. Marquette, now this one comes to us from the Crow River Winery family, which I love them, they're so fun. Marquette is that grape um, that a lot of Minnesotans tend to really like. It was born in 2006. It kind of has some big rustic sort of black fruited flavors that go really well with things like braised meat into grilled goods. Um, let's not forget about one of the first grapes that was born in the state of Minnesota, which is Frontenac. Frontenac was born in 1996, and it's also a cousin of, uh, cousin of Pinot Noir. So it's a little bit lighter, and it will go with all those things that you think of going with Pinot Noir itself. So some hearty leafy greens into kind of some great fall flavors, even pork or salmon or ahi actually goes really well with Frontenac. Um, Frontenac Gris is actually a, um, it is actually just a mutant grape of Frontenac. So Frontenac Gris, a white grape. This one is from my friends at Wine Haven. And um, I love just kind of that bright, crystally side that gives you kind of that snappy finish, a little citrus and kind of some green apple that goes really, really well with a cheese board. Now, this is from Milner Heritage, and this is actually a sweet style of Frontenac Gris. Um, this was actually a state award winner, and it's always been a favorite of mine, um, but it is uh, John Milner's Minnesota Nice, uh, Mulner Nice wine, which is a little bit sweet, and again, goes with things like desserts into blue cheese. La Crescent, this baby was born in 2002 at the University of Minnesota, and it, it's all, it has always been one of Minnesota's most popular grapes. So if you like things like Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, even a dry Riesling, La Crescent is absolutely the grape for you. Here's another one over here from the state, uh, Sovereign Estate, which actually does really well. Um, they're both really clean and lean. Last but not least, let's talk about the fruit wines here in the state of Minnesota. Lots and lots of fruit wines. Um, for me, when it comes to fruit wines, there really is kind of a couple of wineries that do it best. Four Stedge Winery and also, again, Wine Haven. This cranberry wine is the bomb.com with all things that have any sort of fruit in it. If you like that traditional Thanksgiving style stuffing, then this cranberry wine is the wine for you. All right, celebrate local wine week by grabbing a bottle of Minnesota wine.